where do you see national TV programmatic going? Um, so right now, um, I see that uh, there, there was a, quite a bit of interest in monetizing underloved inventory, and it should be monetized. I don't know why it's so underloved. I'm the same person whether I'm watching, you know, uh, the Golf Channel or if I'm watching ESPN. So we should be able to monetize the same individual in, in both places. So I, I hope, and I was part of an effort um, with the Google TV ads, um, DISH believed in um, aggregating data uh, and uh, impressions so it could be sold that way. I'd like to see that continue. Um, where do I see that going? I forget. Do you think that it's attainable? within the yes. next three to five years? Uh, I do actually. I do think it's attainable on a national scale. I think the hard part is that you're doing both carve-outs of local and national at the same time. On a national level, I think it's attainable. On a local level, um, I think there's going to be pockets of it uh, of, of that activity. Um, it's going to get a little bit more confusing until before it gets more clear. Um, I think addressable advertising, because it's being used by national um, MVPDs uh, to break down their ads and to make them available uh, locally, increases the inventory that's capable. I think um, I think that those who are currently buying and selling in the local level are nervous about having more inventory available at the local level. Um, so I think we'll wa it'll take a while to that pushes its way through. Uh, on prime inventory, I think it's going to be a long time before, and I, and I think that's right. You have to hold something valuable. Uh, and uh, it is a mesmerizing thing to have mass media. It is a beautiful thing. I, that's why I still like newspapers. All of us have a similar experience at the same time. We read the headlines. We see a show. And I think there's still a lot of value in that. And I think there's even more value of the, the advertising in that content, uh, in that context. Um, so I, I would prefer to see uh, some rarefied content that uh, was designed and presented in a way uh, that was the same for everybody. Um, so. Connected TVs are rolling out. All TVs yeah. now are connected. How do you think that will impact data, mm -hmm. measurement, usage, yeah. Yeah. cross-platform? So data, um, so getting a little scary because um, there's such fragmentation and there has been um, an opinion to hold back data. And I don't think that helps networks. I don't think it helps advertisers. I think it really hurts the industry for folks to try and um, hide what's going on. And I know that the instinct is to protect competitive um, uh, information, but it's really uh, hurting the ability for people to, to understand what is the value of that inventory. Um, so that's the data side of it. Uh, what were the other? It was uh, uh, measurement cross-platform. Okay. So measurement, um, I think transparency is important. Um, again, if you hold on to it, it can't be transparent. People don't know how to judge the value of that. You know, I, the word fraud is ugly. But it is so hard to have a benchmark that is the same if folks are hiding data. Uh, so I think it's important for measurement um, to be brought together, edited the same way, MRC accredited. We all have to agree to what is currency. What is that stick that we can share, uh, the benchmark for that, um, very important. And consumer usage. So consumer usage uh, on over the top. you know. There will continue to be experimentation, and I think it's going to amplify very quickly. Um, we're in a slow, I don't, it's humorous, we're in a hockey stick, but <laughs> right now it's slow compared mm -hmm. to where it's going. Um, we have had some breaches of the MP, you know, the programmatic, i uh, sorry, the programmer deals. Um, there have been some breaches. People are beginning to sell content into these systems, and the, um, the permissions are there, the Sling TVs, and we hear about Apple. Um, I think... Um, I think I think the Apple TV, if it, if they if they actually get it going out, um, is going to be the biggest threat. It's going to change it's going to change it a lot for folks. Um, right now, there's not a lot of choice. You have your carriers. There's only a handful, uh, and you really have to do that, or you go it alone, and you have to find all the content yourself. Uh, I think um, because we all have these devices that we're wed to, um, the Apple TV is going to be the first real threat to the environment, and that breaks it open. Um, I, 
I think it's I think it's going to get really tough um, and very exciting as well.